Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is just going to be used as additional proofs of MK Ultra. In this case, I will translate to you audio obtained two days ago at Shmarieshke Tuplitsa area. Today is February the 3rd, 2022, so that was recorded on Exactly February the 1st, 2022, in Shmarieshka to please identified another Slovenian individual yesterday who participated in Polish Hunger Games in 2001. Uh, next to this gentleman, I identified another individual that's a bus driver. Okay, the bus driver. I'm going to put it short and simple to you, what you're about to hear right now. Uh, consists of 40 something minute audio which at the end of the video I'm going to play to you however only in Slovenian language uh, but first what I'm going to do is I'm going to translate one to you to point out the proofs about knowing these people, these people knowing me from the past and before I even go to translation of this audio what I want to do is I want to explain to you like this. This gentleman was the first one. This gentleman was the first one, the bus driver I'm talking about. You're going to hear uh, this gentleman dates to 1995. I repeatedly found myself on his bus for Ljubljana. And I was like, in a way like, using language like, WTH uh, WTF am I doing on this bus brought from the United States of America from a from Miami hijacked abducted drugged up and uh, seated next to this bus driver in going in direction of Ljubljana basically because they had me they transferred me all over Slovenia what I can tell you about this guy is this is just a native, Slovenian native. Who, because of myself, could end up uh, in the same fashion as many others did. That's some of them dead, some of them crippled. Uh, displaying too much Slovenian uh, enthusiasm those days maybe even today I have no idea because you know folks for those of you from Slovenia Slovenians let me explain to you something you don't understand Alexander Vucic is psychology and that also goes for Bosnian people Croats they already know this stuff I'm going to talk to you about right now is based on magnifying the number of his people, his Chetnik people, uh, or I should say also people if on the foreign territory, people that embrace that ideology with the idea to portray himself to the victim as like almighty, like in this case, in my case, they portray themselves Chetniks, the Serbian Chetniks portray themselves the Serbs, Milan Kuchan and Borat Pahar portrayed to me as the only option for me to even stay alive. In fact, they told me they're going to break my spine. They told me they're going to get me a cancer and all kinds of shit. And the only way for me to avoid death, basically, through the gradual crime against me, would be to go and see their way. Okay, that's a stupidity, of course. Uh, you know, when an individual goes inside of the hospital, like I did, in 2010, I think, Borat Pahar had a, a surgery, heart surgery. It was a surgery, I don't know, open heart surgery, wherever it was. Uh, and I already have indicated before they even brought me in there to him. 
is why the fuck would they bring me to him? I was in war with this guy since 95. I indicated him to Milan Kurchan because he had me that I wish him only one thing and it's basically death and as much painful as possible and it's something I have demonstrated inside of the hospital in front of the team of the physicians where Borut Pahar was. Actually right in front of him and right in front of physicians I wished him to rotten in pain and in vain, literally. On what physicians told me they have never seen anything like this, so they must have seen a lot of people drugged up and tortured. That speaks a volume for these physicians of Borut Pahar. However, they told me they have never seen as anything like this, as evil, as vicious as myself. Disregarding that this very individual engaged in a, in a killing. It was a killing what this guy did, this Borat Pahar. He was involved in 15 years prior, beatings and all sorts of physical abuse, death threats and so on. 15 years, this guy. And afterwards still. But anyhow, he also tried to get me assassinated in 2007 with prior letting me know that he's going to exercise, literally that he's going to exercise because he burned his own car. He got his own car two years burned prior to my return from the United States of America. So he would look innocent, like it's something like normal. The car starts to uh, catch fire and stuff like this. So this, uh, they, they, yeah, I'm not going to go into this kind of physicians. All I wanted to say to you folks, because I, I felt some kind of fear around, you know, people were like paranoid. They are afraid. All I want to say to you is when you give this kind of signals, when you signal, you make nervous everybody else around you. And that's how Borut Pahor, that's how Milan Kuchan have managed to put this country on knees through the terror, through the systematic, gradual terror. Yes, killing too. Because people, I don't know what the fuck is going on with you, uh, but you somehow have closed yourself into yourself. Rather than to communicate and organize and do something about this stuff. And so... When they are trying to make impression on someone, of course, that I got people that death threat and all kinds of stuff walking past me, going back and forth, saying hello to me, this and that. That's okay. That's all right. But one thing I never did, I never let them own any piece of me. Not under MK Ultra, not in the real world, even less. And so, but, and I know because this case is so big, I know that it was a certain degree of, I'm sure, violence done also, psychological, on the people who know about this case, uh, in case you're from Slovenia. I uh, know also certain parts of Croatia, definitely for people in Bosnia, I know. Because they told me they terrorized them, Serbs terrorized them. Uh, but still, it doesn't matter. It, that shit doesn't really matter because these people are a fucking super minority. They don't fucking exist. In real numbers, they don't exist. In Slovenia, they brought here 5,000-something Russians. They, they have here a few thousand, I don't know, 20, 30. Let's say they have 50,000 Serbs. That's still nothing. Now, if you're going to display the attitude that it's like you're going to become, you're going to display a paranoia like they're everywhere and so on, that only helps this kind of agitators 
to make themselves look big and more influential than what they in reality are. I know we have a Milan Kuchan here and we have a Borat Pahor here, but the thing is that these people about to go, these people about to disappear, be gone, jailed, persecuted, hunted. So there is no reason to be afraid to hide yourself. I got agitated in this case because a gentleman who was involved in this stuff, whom I have identified as a second gentleman, he was on a Hunger Games in Poland in 2001. He participated in this Hunger Games. He got involved in NK Ultra very early on, in 96. And still he decided somehow he's going to go to the Hunger Games to Poland. I actually told him not to go because I heard nothing good. I wasn't excited about him going there because I liked the guy. He went on his own. He did not injure his spine. Not to my knowledge because it was not the same for everybody. Russians declined that part that was spine breaking part. And he got job afterwards with a guy, with a German guy. Who is this German guy? I didn't even thought about it, but I know that he was here. He got a company. It was like a smaller company at the beginning. I remember this. And... Um, since return from the Poland, I was there. He, they brought me over there to Germany, this guy, to this owner, and this and that. Um, I did not thought about that. I think somewhere from Bavaria, probably, right now, when I'm thinking, when I go over this. No, he's not from Munich. This guy, this guy is not from Munich, but he is like from area from Munich. He is like, in my opinion, his boss. Let me see this. Yeah, I would say like somewhere like a Stuttgart, Stuttgart area, Ulm, Stuttgart, something like this. Uh, kind of a close, like Göppingen, Ulm, Stuttgart, something like this. Man, there's no way I possibly could know everything, okay? But I would say, you see, this is Ulm. I would say something something like this, okay? Something like this. This would be like more or less area where he went for work, something like this. And according to his own, uh, even that Borat Pahar highly disapproved this, right? Uh... He didn't like, not even idea, any kind of idea that anybody would say anything good about me. You know, um, even less about the Germany, of course. He didn't like that at all. It didn't matter. It was for our people uh, that paid the bills to this country, taxes, even got jobs abroad, elsewhere. Uh, so the country profited from within. Uh, you know, this is just a people, Borat Pahor, this is just a lunatic that lives in a lala land that thinks money is just, um, how can I say, that he, the money is just, uh, you go and, uh, you know, you just sit and the money comes to you. And that exactly was the case with Milan Kuchan when I brought investors from Scandinavia, from Germany, from all over the place, Britain and so on in 95 and in 96 in Slovenia just to be beaten up uh, and just so this very people who came here you're talking about the Norwegian royals Swedish royals Dutch royals could be actually threatened even life threatened I mean this is you're talking about the complete lunatics anyways the jobs that later Pauls and uh, even Germans 
Uh, even Americans bragged about how lucrative those jobs were, the best jobs. Okay, so look, this is this is the area where we met. Uh, we we walked right there along the forest. There's a path here, and this is this is a place uh, to a therme, Shmarieshka to Plitsa. So I don't like. I'm gonna I'm gonna put it straight to you. I don't like um, uh, the idea that this is basically where we end ended. Uh, that's where you go to to a therme to a beautiful place. Uh, if you like warm uh, natural uh, therme, you know, pools indoors uh, I do recommend this place this place is now ran by pharmaceutical company Kirka they purchased out this stuff through all this process they had me here I was pretty much everywhere all the time. Whenever they were doing some kind of stuff, they always had me around. Okay, this is what it is. Uh, They're not really demonstrating. You would have to go and search whatever. But on a map, on a broader scale, um, I just had you right now. I had you here. And uh, I live at about this place here okay so for me to say this would be about some I don't know now I did go through here so and then of course uh, this is where we met. So, yeah, about like two and a half hours away, like 13 kilometers from place where I live, I met these good people. So, the only thing that I don't like is, well, I also demonstrate the same the same day, I think I demonstrated uh, this here. No, uh, of course I did. This is a grave from my schoolmate this is a grave from my schoolmate and so when somebody you know that you build your home you build everything in your life basically uh, literally through this case you profited really good the salary was really good uh, happy to get that job uh, in Germany you know, people pay their lives with their lives like this. And I lost 28 years of life on this case. And I lost it basically. I was locked up inside of asylum, persecuted. I was exiled, persecuted by multitude of governments and even human rights organizations pushed all over the Europe to search for proofs about existence of this case. And so, you know, when you, in the same day, you know, go and read this stuff here. Go and read this stuff. Go and read this shit real good to understand what I'm all about. So when you come to me, you know, and it was basically agreed upon that you're going to meet me I don't know how they accomplished this. Maybe even the Germans financed so that you would come to meet me because you had no face when I was hospitalized because you had, had no face when I was beaten up to come to rescue, to basically stand up for your fellow Slovenian. So it's maybe Germans instead that you had to sign up with or maybe they paid you, or both, that you came to rescue, that you came to meet me, that you had to do this. I don't know nothing about the whole thing yet, about what exactly happened here. It's possibly the Germans are saving even this Slovenian nation 
from total ruin. Even that's possible. Because this is how far this case came along. So I don't appreciate when you see somebody like myself at age 50 without anything, with ruined health, not even shaking my hand. That's like basically saying, fuck you. And you did so after I asked you about the Poland, if you did go to Poland, which I have gone wrong when asking people about the Poland only once. So that's something, or maybe twice. Everything else, for whoever I have pointed out, it was in Poland, that was 100% correct on a Polish Hunger Games, on a Donald Trump Hunger Games. That's the kind of stuff I don't appreciate. I'm going to say to you like this. You treat me like a little schoolboy or something like this, and you have gone through fucking nothing in your life. Let's go to the audio recording, and we're going to go from here. The first thing I'm going to play to you is a bus driver. The bus driver that would take me to Ljubljana. Uh, I'm going to, what exactly I'm going to point out about him. I'm going to point out, I'm going to point out about him uh, pretty much everything, okay. I did go wrong about the daughter. Um, he was not honest. He was not honest because he got divorced from wife. And the wife just... I'm not going to play to you this, but at the end of this conversation, we meet behind at the building, I told him... When it comes to women, the best thing to do is just to sign a pre-marital agreement. Borat Pahor came with some ladies that the only thing I would have to do basically is step in front of the altar, put them rings on their fingers, and let everything go to hell, basically. And so what Donald Trump did with Melania Trump, I actually understand now, was actually a good choice. I was ridiculing him, uh, but I was immature. I underestimated the whole thing, to be honest. Uh, when you are politically involved like this, when the money is in between, it's in an, it's in the interest of the whole nation of the whole world, actually, that you know what exactly you're doing, because otherwise it doesn't make any fucking sense. Because you're only going to make one mistake, and maybe one more, and that's it, basically, for you. And you're done. Uh, these people didn't give much choice when it comes to even health. His lady, his wife, I remember her, this is a good guy. This man is a good guy. There's nothing wrong with him. This is a good-looking lady, a nice lady, uh, but a little bit twisted. She was just a little bit twisted, I think in the same sense like my mom. And that's why I said earlier, a lot of people get paranoid. They started to see whatever the fuck they want to see. That's where the paranoid problem with the paranoid people are. When they start to see enemies everywhere, and they think that there is just no uh, no way out of this than to comply, uh, because they create these people tend to create impression. They like to make impressions on uh, on on participants. I'm not going to forget Milan Kuchan right on this road, in this Shmarieshka in '96. He would make an agreement with guys before meeting at this Marieshka to Plitsa with Americans. Uh, and it was about some project. And the project, I think it was about, maybe even about, I'm pretty sure it was about the a station that does 
uh, a cleanup, a garbage cleanup, a wastewater treatment uh, station at the beginning of this road. And it was actually maybe done in 97. And he appeared briefly, you know, jump out of the car with the black gloves, you know, like a, imitated like a hitter and rushed to this group of people and this group of people with whom he made prior arrangement started to behave like uh, like uh, yes Führer yes Führer you know like uh, like act like on impulse you know like a robotic way jumping nervous go back and forth uh, and within five minutes chaos he made and he pointed out exactly what he wants like he is intelligent, you know, this shit they have done way before. He would immediately sit back in his uh, driver, which were the police officers from Ljubljana, old, probably, I'd like to see these old Udba people, these old police, chiefs of the police in Ljubljana. Immediately they drove him away. Like five, ten minutes, he was blah, 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 blah. He was done. He sat in the car and he disappeared. He just wanted to make an impression. I know so, because he taught me about that stuff. In reality, this was one confused, crazy motherfucker. This is nothing, nobody to admire. But whenever he appeared, either on a party or whatever place, he would always want to make impression on the people. But this is just on the surface. What counts is everything, basically, not only on a surface. And so that's why I don't like the idea when I see people seen at threat, at danger, um, attack, um, control, and this, and that, and I don't know what the fuck. Uh, when even their own kids are in question. I know that too many people perished. I know there was tremendous pressure. I know that it was the best way in the best interest for everybody to cooperate. I get this stuff, but I also know I'm not crazy that at a certain time, at a certain point in time, uh, when it's obvious that something needs to be done, uh, that somebody has to be done for good of for the common good, for the good of everybody, that people would not behave different, basically. That's a different story. And so, his wife, I think just like my mom, I don't know. I don't really know what's going on. Uh, like some other people, I don't know. As you became paranoid, and when you become paranoid, you really bring problem inside of the house. Because this Vucic people, Alexander Vucic people, these Chetniks from Serbia, these Chetniks from Ljubljana, they feel when they have you, when they have your balls, when they have you by the balls. And what they do is they add additional pressure, more and more controlling the environment, more and more fucking problems inside of the household. And then the household somebody gets fucked up and hopefully that's not you because that person that you knew yesterday whether that be your wife or your mom or whatever your sister or brother uh, becomes a zombie that's just bringing back to the house something that was not meant to be in this country at all something that we break away in 91 with a war so this guy too couldn't take this shit anymore and the, it, the marriage fall apart, basically. It didn't work out. This control, this, guy, this God knows what, it didn't work for him. It doesn't work for anybody normal. But it didn't go smooth, because I know that when I would go there, the lady would jump on me and do exactly what I have seen so many times before, yell in my face and all kinds of stuff and so I completely understand him and he had one child that has grandkids and wife 
And you can't have this kind of environment. That's fucked up. And one tryout of this bus driver eventually was killed in a car accident with few others inside of the car. And this child in particular is of a highest interest to me because just like my schoolmate, Venet, that I have demonstrated you, Robert Venet, he was obligated. He obligated himself. He didn't like this, even a little bit the way they treat me, the way they do the stuff with me. He felt so sorry for me. This was a beautiful young man who really embraced me. And I didn't get, when we, when we walked, I didn't get the whole picture. It doesn't come to you. But later on, it was, you know, it comes like it hugs you. Basically, a feeling, a memory has come back, and it's like a feeling, a warm feeling. It's like hugs you, uh, a memory on someone. There was somebody young like this, and, and, and you know, you recall, you, you recall the memories. And so I was hurt more than what I thought I could be when I left this Shmarieshka to Plitsa the other day, just two days ago. Bad stuff. So my sincere condolences to this man. A really Slovenian patriot who would stay with me patriot to the last until the situation really, really worsened and uh, it became completely impossible for him. And he got afraid, just like everybody else. Let me demonstrate to you a little bit more here. Uh, there was a lady I have spoken with the other day. And this is not too far from his home, you know, this lady. And... Uh, what I can say to you, you see, this is this is a guest house domain here. As I know all these people here, they don't even demonstrate. I, the lady didn't even show up to me yet, right? So this is before you head to that area that I demonstrated to you earlier, the beginning of this road. And she is the owner of this guest house here, for which they brainwashed me with all kinds of lies and stuff like this because they were afraid. Why were they afraid? They were afraid of this lady... They were afraid of the residents here because, you know, at the beginning, the residents loved me. You know, the lady, this lady, this blonde lady, she was a blonde, this lady, 95, 96, 97, 98, uh, 99, she changed the color of the hair or something like this because of me. Because every time I came, I liked her and this and that. And then she started shortly after that, something like this, she started to yell on me, scream on me. It was the same with the old man that used to be here. He loved me, he loved me, but it was this police that dragged me around. And if the people were nice with me, the police, you know, uh, they would call them on the side, the psychiatry from Ljubljana Polje, and they would start to abuse them mentally. And I bet they would also cause them problems financially. And I bet they make their circumstances impossible. But I'm a little bit in shock because so many people were affected all over Slovenia. And that these people would not come despite politicians. So that's why the polit polit political circles incredibly are controlled. Let me demonstrate you something else. If you would think about this man here that I addressed yesterday, um, it's incredible because this guy... Because this guy appeared all the way uh, to be completely on his own in, in, in this whole thing that was, that was totally, totally on his own. His name is Andrei Shishko. Oh, this is basically the post. Uh, this lady here, Anitza Bider, was his partner. Up to 99... They were not sure whether they're going to start the political party or not. She used to work, I think, in some kind of bank or something like this. And when we would come to the vicinity or wherever she is from, I did not even go and investigate that stuff. Uh, they would bring me there and they would have me meet them. 
and it would be Shishko whenever they would have this Andrei Shishko. Um, you're just going to have to Google to get to know him. I felt betrayed by this individual because of the stuff he displayed. I was beaten up. I was in trouble. Uh, I was I was in a lot of trouble. And, uh, you know, I felt that because I was beaten up that from any perspective for any Slovenian that would portray himself on a horse, uh, riding horse, you know, riding horse uh, with, with, with like this kind of outfit, uh, portray himself to me like, um, you know, this is, this is all good, but you cannot be riding the horse and call yourself Slovenian when you know for somebody else for another Slovenian that is basically on knees, like a Christ beaten up in the mud, but basically the same people that you alone are running from, just like every other Slovenian. And this is basically what I really resented him. He dreamed about the castles and shit like this when the country was basically on fire. And so what I want to say, I think he is on the right track now. You know, he, he also had a problem... Uh, with the immigrants and so on but I think this was because of me because I became uh, so hateful basically that I would not settle for absolutely anything that would not prioritize uh, Slovenia basically because I felt that everything that did not prioritize my case in this, therefore this country, because of such a degree of abuse, was a direct betrayal. And so he was always taking my side. But other than that, he's not a bad guy. He did, once he understood that a partisan movement is the only thing, the most precious treasure, the real treasure that we Slovenes have, uh, he turned around and he did head it the other way and so for that matter I actually have to say that in a way I even admire him but what I want to say to you when 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 we were becoming to these meetings at this place I don't know where this lady used to work this on its a beater but it looked to me like a bank you know like it was like an office like a bank or something like this we, we would go in there and uh, with the Shishko, with this guy, with the Andre Shishko, uh, we would meet. Obviously, this, I think, are her two daughters. Maybe that's even a sister, her sister, completely on the left hand, but uh, probably these are two daughters. And this one here, right under this uh, symbol, uh, that was a kind of a promise to me, in a sense. Uh, that's she the one wearing the red uh, sweater, and that's her husband right there. Uh, I got to admit that I have fallen for this lady wearing the sweat letter, uh, sweater in 95 and in 96 and in 97 and so on. But what struck me the most that in Slovenia they anticipated that this case is going to be very, very short. These people, this Anica Bider can tell that they were sure with the Shishko that the case... Because I would not go for Kuchin under any circumstances. They had to find somebody who was going to represent Slovenia in, 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 in as much as possible, in, in as much a Slovenian way as possible. So they found this man here. Um, they believed, what I believe, the Milan Kuchin and Borum Pahor convinced these people that the case eventually is going to end by 98, even 99 the latest. But the case did not end. There was always something else that came up because they, there was always many, many lies. It was always a new lie they were able to come. And they lied to our people, and our people settled for the lies. And, you know, 
lie just keeps growing bigger and fucking bigger and draws the whole nation down to the grave, basically. The goal of Milan Kuchan was to overthrow not the state, but the whole nation and create, recreate basically a greater Chetnik state known as Yugoslavia. I already was clear about what his goal was. Okay? So, these two guys closed those meetings. The meetings that they were engaging in in 99, uh, till 99, it was finished. It was dismissed. Later on, I was still brought to her because she would never give up. She would never give in on me, this, this girl. I guess that she remembered that I liked her. I really liked her. Um, but with me, I have to be honest. With me, it was like this because uh, I also met the same day as I met this bus driver and the man uh, you're going to see who went on this Hunger Games in Poland in 2000 and one is a lady here in the village. Uh, the thing is that I liked this lady uh, and I give them a compliments and everything, but uh, because there was no action from them, uh, it didn't make me any sense because it was just so many honeys involved in MK Ultra <laughs> that I would figure out. I said, what the hell do you keep asking me if you like me? I mean, one year, two year, three year, four year, you know, in some cases, five years, whatever. And then I just, uh, I don't know, because it was always some other man next to it didn't make me any sense. And it was, do you like me? Yes. And then it was always that ended with the other man. Do you like me? Yes. And it was a porn star that would engage with one guy in sex. Next time they would bring me with another guy in sex. It was 100 porn stars like this. Not one. The third time she engaged with three guys in sex until engaged in sex every time they brought me until I sent the whole thing to the hell, ask me if I want to marry her. Uh, a beautiful, really beautiful ladies. And I'm not saying anything against this. Who the hell knows? Maybe I would even today, because I'm a very open-minded person. But not open-minded to the degree that I would go on my own funeral in front of the altar with a wedding ring. Not to that degree. But what I want to say to you is she's happened to be one of the ladies I liked. I liked, I liked, and never came. Nothing happened. Uh, the same thing with this lady here from the village. Then, do you like me? I didn't care about. And when you don't care about, oh, this is, this is when you get attention. Oh, so it's like this. And the next thing you see, then you are just accused of all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Uh, not that these ladies would really think anything bad, because this one never did accuse me of anything. She always stood by my side. What her husband a little bit resented her. <laughs> um, but I noticed that it was always the police that brought me there. And I noticed that they have them completely, completely under control, completely under the little finger. So, Mr. Milan Kuchan pretty much have everybody involved in this case subjected probably to a very same, if not similar, circumstances to mine when it comes to exercising like external control on people, pressure externally, so the people would just like you know, just go like this, you know, just rather than go together and so on and so forth. I heard they had people like myself, uh, I, I should say a silicon masks uh, made according to my face, facial characteristics, uh, meeting people, bugging people and confusing people and screwing up and doing all kinds of stuff. And here, and in Czech Republic, and in Slovakia, and in Poland, all over Eastern Europe, even in Russia in some cases, even in Serbia in some cases, because there was Serbs that liked me too. And they fucked them, they destroyed them, they ruined 
good Serbian people. It was people like this too, in Serbia too, that really, really liked me, that they really, really embraced me. I have to be honest about this whole thing. How? And so... I got a little bit lost, and I do like to go on just about from where I stopped. Where I just demonstrate you about this location here, just about maybe, I'm not going to forget the resident that was an old man that who always was so happy to meet me. And just like this man, one day, one time, he just didn't have any kind of choice. He basically just had to turn against me. He just, the police that, that, that would bring me, the psychiatrist that would bring me there, they just uh, exercised so much pressure on him that it was just either he's going to comply with this stuff or like he's going to die and then he also started to engage in in stuff and you know every time when they did this it made me feel like not only the people loved me more and more but i felt that people betrayed me i felt like people going to the other side and i was like fuck you all you go go to the other side anyhow there is shmarieta not shmarieshka to please a settlement just a little further that was, I don't know how many death threats they exercised over the course of the years, maybe thousands, I don't know, in this village alone, just from house to house, from house to house. Now, you don't even understand what, what this was all about. And they did this shit all over Slovenia. So just like in this place, just like in this guest house that I have spoken to you about, this man too did not have a choice and sometimes in 99 that special friendship either could ha cost him life uh, or you know uh, he would have to turn against me so he did turn against me and it was the same like with other people he had to comply with the police, with a psychiatry, it was yelling, it was abuse, it was threats, it was all kinds of stuff. Maybe the best yet, uh, maybe the best yet about this was that he had a facial characteristic of the Sergei. Facial characteristics of both Sergeys. One I met, a Russian guy I met, came from Ukraine, and a Sergei literally from Belarus. He had this facial characteristics and this idiots from Ljubljana, this paranoid, this Kuchan and all this, uh, they rated him like a German. It's, 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 uh, it's a German because he had uh, blue eyes. Immediately he was rated as a German. He was already to go uh, to be placed it wasn't about the blue eyes, because Kuchan and Pahor both had blue eyes, but he had this face they couldn't understand. There was something maybe German in this guy, too. But the facial characteristic of very Belarusian, actually Russian in a way. And they, like, they did not understood this shit. Paranoids, they would just put him probably right in front of the wall and get rid of him. I mean, this is just a Slovenian guy, you know, Slovenian guy, a real Slovenian native from here. With a Slovenian DNA written on him, Slovenian native with a Slovenian DNA. Simple, like just like the guy that he's going to meet me later on. And Borut Pahor had a problem with this. Borut Pahor had a tremendous problem because in Maribor city, the original people with a with a DNA disappeared because Vucic, Alexander Vucic demanded 
for the whole city to be made Serbian. So they loaded the city with the immigrants from Serbia. They brought young women and they started to harass young men to marry them, condition them, threaten them, condition them life through employment. Whether you will marry or you will not marry. The same thing they did with the ladies. It's completely, completely Hitler ideas. The idea is to destroyed Slovenian DNA. Basically, exile, murder, kill Slovenian nation or crossbreed Slovenian nation with the Serbs. So, for the benefit of the greater Chetnik state here, previously known as Yugoslavia. That's all there is. And Milan Kuchin and Boran Pahor, you go to Maribor, comply with it to the highest degree possible. This basically is where we walked, we conversed. Well, how are you? Hey, hey, it could be better, but it's not. Hey, hey, yes, hey, it could be worse too. Hey. Um, I don't waste much time. I immediately knew who he was. Uh, a little further, I tell him, but you were one of the first, and he was. He was one of the first. What's going on with him? He wanted to get some overtime. He wanted to make some money. And in Ljubljana, he knew for one location where there were really beautiful ladies in there. And uh, this Slovenian ladies uh, quickly replaced. Actually, they, the politicians, top politicians would even have a trouble knowing who, where. He somehow kept this private enough, this place, so they would not find out. But once they got a hold of it, once they found the information about it, Russians and Serbs demanded uh, to just replace them. They replaced them with something else. It was, you know, that kind of house. Uh, and one blonde that I was completely crazy about, one Slovenian girl, uh, got in trouble for being blonde because of the Serbs, because of the Russians. They hunted Slovenian DNA. Anything that looks Slovenian, anything that was part of this country, they had the problem with. This was a hunt on a Slovenian genetics. That's why I started to see the whole thing as a, as a genetic war, basically, on, on Slovenia. Borut Pahor referred to Slovenian people as a cancer on his task to make Slovenia a greater Serbia. He referred to Slovenian people as a cancer cells, which are necessary just like a parts uh, that are infected like chronically with a cancer are just necessary basically to cut off from the body so the body uh, so the cancer doesn't spread onto other organs and that's basically how he treated Slovenian nation that's why so many graves and that's why I started to get so radical about the whole thing in Slovenia too it was really I'm really actually a mirror of the Russians, of Vladimir Putin, of Alexander Vucic, Milosevic, Karadzic, and more than anything, Mr. Milan Kuchan and Borut Pahor. So this beautiful girl, she disappeared from the picture uh, in by 99, when Russians and Serbs claimed, were well, making fun of Slovenian people involved in MK Ultra, claiming them that I don't actually like any Slovenian because it was so much beatings that was done here against me in Slovenia more than anywhere else so that I would literally hate 
Slovenia with a passion, Slovenian people, that they insisted even for that bond. Uh, but there is this bond, this bond, what we're going to do with this bond still is still one. Yeah, this is the way this stuff was. Uh, in respect to my schoolmate, Robert Vernet, that you have seen the plate, memorial, basically a great plate. Uh, they came up with a funny theory. They laughed, they laughed. Uh, so that I was repeated by the natives that they don't like the Venetian, the theory of the Venets, because uh, they have a grave plates. This, this was this is idiotic. If you haven't seen this, what I have written on my blog, the way it was, that's a fucking horror. You would not want to have a maniac like this in your country wherever you are you would not want to have a guy like this going around killing people get people killed left and right and scorn people through this kind of stuff terrorize people with this kind of issues you would not want to have a guy like this To, uh, to make myself clear this we discussed about he reminded me of what happened over there in Ljubljana he reminded me about the ladies that he was driving a bus and stuff like this boom and I knew exactly who he was. And I said, well, you were one of the first, if not first. You're talking about the 95 and 96. It was shocking to me. Uh, he did not want, okay, he didn't want. He signaled me under MKH already. He does need, need not want to talk about this 95, 96, 97, 98 because of his son because he doesn't want his son to know about this stuff. He was not completely honest, this bus driver, with me. But this is one of the best people involved in MK Ultra that I know of. Fact of the matter is that this was the first man that would drive me to Ljubljana with a bus. There was like a bus driver committed to this case. It was 95, 96, 97. And he would not be on a regular uh, line anymore, but he would just get the opportunities. And he liked to drive on a long distance because here in the city, he was doing the city driving. Through this case, however, he insured him for himself an extra hours. He got job uh, I don't know, with a good pay, extra hours, so he earned money through this stuff. I, I hear the mom and dad again doing the circus. Uh, and so uh, it was very important for him. He made the money and so on and so forth. Let's go. <laughs> Ja, <laughs> 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 
Я на, на 10 стран, буду все согласен. Я все, вы сидели бы на 10 стран. А ты говоришь, не сама, ты вспомнишься. Я уже... Uh, I already go immediately further. I tell him, listen, um, yeah, he didn't like that, about 95, 96, 97, 98. But uh, I point out that he, as you go, because he told me that you go, uh, that he is from, that you turn up there. I tell him, your house, as you go straight up, the hill is located on the right side, and this is one of the first. Um, I also tell him next how old also his house is, basically, and what his house looks like. At the end of the audio, I'm going to play to you this all in Slovenian. This is all yes, 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 yes. I get the proofs about all this stuff. I tell him your house is a new house this is not an old house or at least is renovated I tell him your house has a 30 to 40 years what I mean is by style you know the style um, how can I say, I'm not going to go and demonstrate to you his house, but these are a classic, um, uh, let me demonstrate, these are a classic, uh, probably would be, uh, there is nothing in there really, that's where you would go, actually you would turn right, these are a classic, I don't want to go on his door, that's not fair, that's, it's a classic, you know, this kind of house. So these are newer houses, you know, these are already like a new house, or new type of housing, basically is what I mean, right? This is a newer model, it's about 30, 40 year, something like this, like our house. You know, he gives me all the green light, this is the way it is, how do you know where my house is, on which side of the road, and what it looks like. <laughs> Thirty years is what his house is old. So I said it's but it's like newer house. Yeah, he said yeah. Uh, this is basically where I go wrong. He does not have a daughter. No, that's a mistake I have made. Uh, uh, for some reason, I was sure that 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 he's got a daughter maybe even hoping that she's still single or whatever okay both of these boys he had both of these boys were 100 percent really really beautiful boys nice uh brought up I'm going to tell you in the best possible way one can bring his children up. They care about his father, they care about mother, it's just that, you know, this is just the way it is. Life is just, that's how it is. Um, but they are, they cared about me, they always cared about me, they always asked about me, this boy too, uh, cared about. Basically, Everything starts with someone being a human being first. That's like the main thing. If you, if you don't have this, you don't actually have anything. This boy, his boy is as good educated as possibly could be. Um, we, 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 he doesn't like talk about the politics and stuff about whatever it was. We're gonna skip this. Mm -hmm. 
I said, I had to call your wife. I, I was going to ask him, are you married or not? And I said, wait, 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 wait. I remember your wife. I remember your wife, I say. I said, this I'm going to tell you too about your wife. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I said, please don't tell anything. Don't say anything. Um, I have made a mistake here. I made a mistake because I said you separated from your wife and you got another wife that came in the house in 2000. No, that in Ljubljana, that kind of stuff ended in 98. That was finished in 98. But I was thinking about that blonde in Ljubljana. You know, this 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 blonde was really beautiful, this Slovenian girl. Um, and I was thinking, man, you know, because this happened so many times, I think in my head, maybe this was... Maybe this is what it was. Maybe this was the blonde that he got, actually. That this was the blonde that he actually married. That he brought one from Ljubljana, actually. That he was the one who got that blonde. Because his wife painted hair. Um, she had a painted hair. A curly hair. You know, curly hair. A typical Slovenian face with a curly hair, but blonde. Uh, about like I think like like not long like short sh short you know and I was thinking about that he went apart and he got married in 2000 with another lady and that this was it but hold on a moment He says, no, no, no. He said, that's not true. He says, it was not like this. I say, no, 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 it was not like this. He says, no, no woman, no. Woman did not come. None came. Uh, he said we got divorced in 2012 so this was not good this was not good um, I I made a mistake I knew that he was something divorced something like this I mixed it up this stuff here, so this I didn't do good. I didn't do well here. Okay, at this point in time, at this point in time, 
um, I understand finally that he was driving a bus. At this point in time, I finally understand he was driving a bus. Uh, very, very, very difficult to connect because of a lot of issues. Uh, this is this was a very, very difficult. Uh, you know that also depends from the conversation, from the person where he starts and this and that with uh, with the issues. But no, no, he started everything okay. It just had to be this way. It's just uh, it's just. Um, Quite a complicated one, this one. He tells me about his son, how he died, and and he is sure that I know. You know, he's sure that I know. No, I did. I it was so many people involved. You know, my my condolences and and I. My sincere condol, my most sincere condolences, but to so many people involved in so many locations, so many things. Uh, every house around here was involved in this stuff. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that probably his son is going to be laughing his ass. <laughs> he told me already that he got divorced in <laughs> that he got divorced in 2012. He mentioned that earlier, <laughs> but it, it was this blonde. I was completely insane about in Ljubljana. I was, uh, if they realized it was a girl that I was crazy about, the only thing they would do is they would make her disappear. I would no longer see her. It, stuff like this happened too. Um, and what is this here? This is a 26 minute of our conversation. <laughs> And I am still, and I am still asking him about the blonde from Ljubljana, about that blonde. If he, if he did marry her, I mean, I said, did you, did you bring that blonde from Ljubljana? Did you, did you marry her? And he's all confused. He said, no. Okay, he, uh, he says it's not. He says he says it's not. It's not from Ljubljana. It's from here, from Novo Mesto area. Okay, uh, that's it. That's when another uh, a gentleman comes. Uh, now you're talking about the guy who did go on a Hunger Games on a Hunger Games to Poland. 
to open himself a career. And he really made me upset, like I said. Uh, it's okay. Uh, just talking about this shit now, I realize that I shouldn't even be upset because it's, it's uh, you know, I kind of contradicted myself. But, you know, I feel that because of the stuff, because of the degree I went through, because of the stuff I have gone through, uh, you know, not shaking my hand, boy, it put the temperature on me. Uh, it's like, uh, still laughing, but uh, not happy in particular for not shaking my hand. Okay. Uh, anyways, this is this is the man that would come to this place to vacation here because of me on MK Ultra uh, on just I don't know how many occasions, right? So it's a whole little set, a whole little palette of proofs I have that knows me damn well from, from the past. Um, I was going to ask him more stuff about it, but every time he put himself on the phone, you know, he wouldn't shake my hand when I asked about the Poland and you were in the Poland. Uh, I don't know what I said in 96 and 97. Uh, and he said I was, but in 2001. And he wouldn't answer where in Poland when I asked him, were you in Lodge and this and that? And I was going to ask more questions about it. And he was just, that he had to go. He had to go. Like, in, like acted in insulting and stuff like this, man. It really, it really put my temperature up. Uh, but okay, okay, at least this is something. And it's true that Milan Kuchan is a swine. And so is Borut Pahor. These are not Slovenian people. That's true. I said, uh, and and he stands right there and is looking at me, and he looks totally familiar to me. And I said, okay, let's do it. And I said, hi, you look so familiar to me, and I'm not sure where exactly I would, in which spot, I would, I would, uh, in which drawer, uh, where I would, how I would classify you, who you are, this and that. He says, yeah, I see that you're looking at me like you know me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I said, how are you doing? And he said, I am okay. Yeah, yeah. He said, but what, what about you? How are you? Yeah, I'm quite okay. No, I am, I am quite okay. I'm not going to say basically anything about how I am because it, it, it doesn't make any sense to me. To discuss about what, how I really am. If when I go to the physician to the hospital, uh, I meet an individual who was involved in MK Ultra uh, and who exercises a whole palette of abuse against me and is laughing at me and it says that uh, you know that you cannot sleep because you are a schizophrenic and shit like this. How? What can I tell you about how I am? I'm going to tell you how I am, my friend, today. In Poland, in 2004 or 2004, uh, when I did go on a training session, driving a truck over the road throughout in intercontinental, um, throughout the U.S., uh, all the states, uh, what is it, the 49 states, whatever, uh, not the Hawaii, not Alaska. There was this Pakistani trainer. I disappeared for quite some time. The only thing I can say is that when I was doing a push-ups, I could never do... I 
for unknown reason to me before the training ended I had a spine just like a German guy told me in Miami that driving the truck people get injuries that it's dangerous to drive the truck because people get injuries professional injuries professional related injuries it was a time when they took me to Poland and I believe it was the the x-ray they have used for a final outcome of what they suggested were results at this Marie Curie hospital in Zgierz when they suggested that you had like a minor, minor spine injury they Pollocks already abused me to degree that they broke in a good way my spine already in that trucking during that trucking I already suffered I think injury back then it was the first injury Pollux inflicted on me had me pick up drugged up boxes in this factory sorting them out back and forth they already caused a damage one time under MK Ultra so severe that they were enough severe it was enough severe for them to take x-ray to x-ray me and eventually um, it must have been done like this and uh, injury so severe that they would x-ray and present this in the future when you would have totally damaged spine like the case was in 2020 2019 uh, so they would have a fake x-ray that was a physician that participated the Polish physician that participation participated in MK Ultra since 95 the whole team of psychiatrists over there is Gersh uh, hospital staff inside of this Marikiri in this private ambulance whatever uh, part of the hospital all that stuff I could witness about all this stuff how it was transformed transformed everything along other um, yeah I don't want to go uh, uh, express myself too professionally about this because it's need to time to pull these words out uh, medical facilities wherever you want to call across the Poland like the one in Lodge Gurna, that's basically in southern part of the lodge, and another one that turned into a Catholic uh, hospital. I have identified, and I can go and identify people, and so on and so forth. But that doesn't matter. What matters is that they have crippled me twice. The first time when they crippled me, however, they did not break the spine to the degree that you would be completely crippled like I was in 2019 and 2020 it was impossible to explain how uh, what kind of a pain what kind of suffering this was it still is but at least I found a way to get around and it's somewhat at least okay so what I wanted to say is how am I doing? How am I doing? And that this is basically how am I doing? How you're doing? Okay, you're doing. What the fuck is matters if you cannot go to a physician? If you go to physician and the physician that that engage against you with a torture under MK Ultra and is lying over there in front of you about things uh, and is doing all kinds of inciting and paranoia. This physician in particular, the female gestured about magnesium and even gestured under MK Ultra about uh, how eating vitamins is what's going to fuck you up when you're going to start eating vitamins uh, that's what's going to fuck you up if you're going to go to the medical examination and we're going to examine you and we're going to find that you don't have a heart problems then you're going to have the heart problems what the fuck does it mean for me to talk to anyone about really my health problems my health issues does it make sense to you like this probably not right mm -hmm. so you don't you know till uh, I see something actual happening in this country here 
uh, it really, please don't ask me about the health issues because it really doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. I was, I was in worse situation. You would say, how the fuck could you be wrong in worse situation when you have broken spine, you didn't have cancer, you didn't have a problem with the heart and all this shit. Well, you know, think about how. Okay, it's okay. All right, I greet this guy, we meet, greet. It's nice that he asked me, but really, this is what my health situation is. And I am, by the way, I'm glad. I am relieved that he was not one of the people who suffered a spine injury. Like this guy here from Novo Mesto, let's say, a security officer who also did. He was also pulling himself doing, you know, uh, also doing this kind of exercise, you know, to strengthen his spine because of this injury like everybody else. It's crazy shit. I'm just glad, man, that you did not get this kind of injury in Poland because this is a crazy, straight crazy stuff. I say thanks, man. I said I think I'm gonna do well, you know. He says, "Where are you? Who are you?" Nah? And I say, "Where I am, this and that." Nah? This is really interesting. Hey, he talks to me about the sea, about the Adriatic coast. And, uh, man, uh, <laughs> let me explain this. Um, that's totally counterproductive. He probably had me uh, or saw me meet me along the Adriatic coast because it was so many people, including Germans. They would drive me uh, to these islands. Uh, in Croatia, uh, they had fun vacationing there and this and that. Uh, it could be one of them, but for me, this is not productive because I know that along the coastline, sea line, coastline, we're not going to pull anything productive out of it. So I want to go to, you know, to actually something more factual so I can get the proofs that we do know each other. That's what actually matters to me. Uh, I know that he has a high school, but I don't know what kind of high school does he have. I'm sure that he is a mechanical uh, technician, uh, that he is a mechanical engineering, either mechanical engineering technician or uh, electric uh, technician. Uh, so, but I'm not sure one of the two I'm sure and he tells me yes I do have a high school uh, but it's not the two professions he says yes it is but here is the problem this is the big 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 ass problem it's a big ass problem this man met me here on so many occasions right here and I'm like the fuck I was like sure that he is working living here right here in Shmarieta that he's from here from Novo Mesto right here from Shmarieshka to Plitsa from here so on Shmarieta Shmarieshka uh, and, and I'm sure and you're from here right uh, pretty sure I was that was a mistake but I was pretty sure that he is from here because I met him so many times here but oh, this guy was part of the MK Ultra crew since 1996, not probably 95, but 96 from the area where I purchased the car. Because it came to me immediately. Yeah, we 
So he he tells me that he is a, a technician. I don't know how you would say this, but this is for the mining technician. Okay, mining technician would be the right thing. He's a mining technician. He's a mining technician. And there you have it. I knew immediately. Uh, I knew immediately where he's from. Uh, I tell him, but then, then if it was, if it was a, if it was a main, then you're not from here. I, I tell him we don't have any mains here, and he says, no, no, I'm not from here. Uh, just a moment that we make sure. He says, I'm, I'm from far away, he says. Uh, I tell him, and then you're from exactly where I purchased the car. Yeah, he was, he was here. This, I told you that all these people that they were involved in MK Ultra, um, all these people that were involved in MK Ultra were connected to one another. But I tell this guy, you know, you are from where I purchased the car. And where I purchased the car is called Zagoria Opsavi. This here. This is Zagoria Opsavi right here. This is what I purchased the car. And I was sure that this is where he is coming from because of this thing here. Let me demonstrate to you this. This Zagori Opsavi, this place here, Zagori Opsavi, this was a place I don't think so. He would want to pose next to me like this anymore. I don't think he want to pose anywhere anymore. I was pretty sure, especially that he is from here, because of what I'm going to demonstrate to you next. This is where Russians would go to the Zagoria Opsavi. They all of a sudden got a tremendous interest to come here. Uh, the Serbs and Russians, wherever they went, they needed me to go with them uh, so they could claim that they are in front of the natives, that they are discriminated against. Yeah, the Slovenian Hitler, Adolf Hitler, Slovenian Milan Kuchan and Borut Pahor would do abuse that is unimaginable with me. This was beyond bestial. And to give Slovenes, natives, an impression about my being a discriminatory racist against Russians and Serbs, that's why exactly they did these beatings, and get from them special favors and compassion free lodgings, free beers, and compassion, uh, maybe renaming uh, uh, places uh, in, in Russian places, maybe doing that, something crazy, uh, maybe just inventing bullshit out of blue to make them feel good, poor, discriminated, the Russians and Serbs. They would bring me along them to the cities, to the places, because I was an apologetic, angry young man that would not give in their beatings anything and would scorn them, derision them, humiliate them, 
and even natives in front of the natives and if the natives would not would start to participate against me or something then I would take on natives too just this is just the way I was under MKH I would not give in not even one millimeter to anybody this is what I was and in Zagori Opsavi in this place where I purchased the car I had no remorse for the Serbian Chetniks, for the mass killer, for the mass Balkan killers, butchers. No remorse whatsoever. There is a main here. There is a, there is a place here which the mayor of this city told me is going to call uh, the main of Alexander to honor uh, 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 Alexander Lukashenko because Alexander Lukashenko claimed that he was discriminated against me the Vladimir Putin and uh, the Lukashenko claimed uh, that they were discriminated against me you know Right? So let me demonstrate to you this stuff here. So this is, this is, this, this place, and you can see the name. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I didn't take a photo the other day. Uh, you know, I probably should. Uh, but there is a main that it says Alexandro Rudnik right here, you know. Um, uh, you know what? Uh, I was gonna say F this. Let's go like this. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. This is Alexandro Rudnik. No, this is the one I meant the other day. This is the one. Okay, so the mayor told me because you are a, such a racist, because, because. Uh, you are like this, poor Mr. Lukashenko, poor man, poor Alexander Vucic, poor Chetniks, poor, yes, poor, we're gonna, to make him feel good, this is Alexander Uro, uh the main of Alexander, no, the, no, the shit is insane if it wouldn't be true, but this is a factual stuff. So, I'm sure that you know this good man here, Uh, a good friend of uh, Milan Kuchan and uh, of Borat Pahor. This is a brother, basically. This is a brother. This is a human rights brother, basically. That's the one that he didn't exile only Belarus people. He didn't. He wasn't killing only Belarus people and throwing them out of the border. He make international refugees, Syrians, Arab refugees from Middle East, climb through the fence, go. On knees, drag themselves uh, on the Polish side of the border. You know, the best about it, it still does. If you go and you Google after several months of this crazy madness, I don't know how long is it lasting for this already now, for a year. This man is still in the power. And uh, what a human rights this guy is. It's a real icon. So. Let's go back to the business. So I said that you probably are from here, uh, right from this place here. Nah? So he says, no, 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 from far away, from far away. That's all I get to hear from him, from far away. Oh, far away, really? Yeah, 
This is ridiculous, man. This guy does not give me does not give me anything for free. Okay, I said, so to what are you talking about? I said, so you're not from here. I said, so where, how? I said, then you must be from Terbolia, or what is it? This is like, what is it? This like two kilo, three kilometers from here, from where I stated. Come on, Slovenia is not so small now. This is not so, this is not so small, Slovenia. Give me a break, you know, I'm saying. He says, no, 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 not from here, not from here. I'm like, from where? From where then if you're not from here? How? And he is laughing, he is laughing. Uh, he is saying like something funny. Hey, how am I going to know what bridge uh, toward uh, Terbolian? I don't know what, man. I never drove through here. This is, I don't even know this area. Think about it. I spent uh, basically uh, 23 years in Slovenia. That's till I left to the United States of America. Until then, pretty much you grow up, you go to the school, you don't really travel all over Slovenia. You don't really do this stuff. Everything else pretty much is from MK Ultra because the rest of the stuff I spent here inside of the home doing this kind of program. I had no money to travel anywhere. So this guy's talking about some kind of bridges and stuff. And I'm like, Arr. In Bolesnica, in... Oh, now he is better. Now he's talking about the rail. Oh, man, eh? Okay. Sure, and I have a clue. Uh, there is a rail and there is a connection to the road. Oh, that's fantastic, eh? And I tell him, you know what? <laughs> I tell him, as far as I know, man, you are from where I bought the car. You know, because he doesn't give in and I don't give in his... Uh, there is a bridge and there is a rail and there is a connection to the uh, to the road. That's everywhere. That's every city. Come on now. Yeah. He said, "What kind of car did you buy? Who did you buy from?" Yeah. Well, who? Now he's asking about the car, man. Uh, I said. Wait, I said, you, you, you said from Hrasnik, right? That you're from Hrasnik. And I have no idea where Hrasnik is. So I pulled the telephone out, right? David Makola. And I'm looking at the telephone. Where is this Hrasnik? We still tam. We still tam. Kemaya Alexandro Rudnik. Lithia. Lithia. <laughs> He said that that's near Ljubljana. No, 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 that's not. That's not near Ljubljana. That's exactly what I demonstrated to you right there. Uh, he is confused more than I am. Okay? So, you know how far away he is from? From what I stated, what I purchased the car and all this stuff? The Alexandro Ro, okay, he is right. He knows more about this. That's probably a main, and this is maybe like a small main. Okay, I get it. Maybe he's right. He's more technical and more educated, definitely, than I am. He's a technician for mining. She should know better than I do about that stuff. That's true. He's just 10 kilometers. I'm just 10 kilometers off the target. And man would not give me a break. He talked to me about the bridge about the rail and about the connection to the road. What a crap. So I pretty much pinpointed his location also in Slovenia, right? Come on, 10 kilometers with a walking distance, 10 kilometer. Okay, with a car, it takes more, they say. It takes 14.8 kilometers. Okay, so for a 10 kilometer distance, maybe, I don't know, maybe for uh, six miles distance, he does not give me a break, and he wants exact location in Slovenia. All right, good luck with this. I don't know how many people could possibly do this. Um, so...
He says, no, no, Krasnik is, is, is elsewhere, he says. Ne, e, tu ste se povizdali smo o to. No, 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 we go over this. Za dva kilometra stran, pizda. Iz Zagorja obsavi. I said, hey, there's just one more question that I have for you because, you know, you are such a maestro. You know, I'm kidding. Yeah, I'm a humorous person. I said, you are such a maestro. You're such a the man because he wouldn't give me a break really for 10 kilometers distance uh, he talks about Ljubljana yeah uh, really on the other side of Slovenia and so on he would not give in no matter what he said you know what just just a moment before you go before you go I said just one more question that I have to ask you about I said you were you also in Poland on a Polish Hunger Games I said, did you manage all the way to Poland or not? Jesus Christ. No, seriously. Uh, what a merciless man. He doesn't want to know, first of all, anything about when I ask him. He's like... Uh, I don't even know what he answers. And I said, wait, 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 wait. I said, wait, wait, wait a minute before you go. Because see, I, I got to go. I got to go. I said, wait, 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 wait. I said, did you go to Poland or you didn't go to Poland? And he tells me, yes, I did go to Poland in 2001. What a nice guy. Eh? And actually, you know what? He really is a nice guy. I think he is a nice guy. I should be nicer because when I think about the stuff I spoke about today, yeah, it's true. Ninety-five, ninety-seven, ninety-eight. Okay. When? And he says in two thousand and one. He says, and then he he goes. He doesn't want to talk to me. And said, ah ha ha ha. I say, no. You want to shake my hand or not? And he doesn't want to shake my hand, man. That really infuriated me. Uh, let's hear this again. Yeah, he says he's like laughing, you know, he's like laughing at me because it's coming to me. I said, well, let me ask you one more time. Let me, let me just one more thing. Let me ask you. Uh, he says he says to me uh, he says to me he says to me I ask you to Poland did you did you get to Poland or not did you get to Poland or not he said I gotta go I gotta go I gotta go I said, da, 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 da. I said, wait a minute, wait a minute. Did you go to Poland or you didn't go to Poland? Did you make it to Poland or you didn't make it to Poland? Uh, he said, yeah, one time I was. Uh, yeah, I said, when? When was it? 95? I knew it was impossible, 95. But I go, 97, 98, when? And he says, 2001. There you go. Now, what I'm going to do is, you're going to hear me talking also about with the bus driver because he waited for me in the back of the building. I'm going to also point about his car he purchased. Uh, I might even demonstrate the car, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to play with the whole audio in Slovenian language from beginning to the end.
Tu tā okay. osi, tu tā osi no. He does not want to tell me. He doesn't want to say anything whether he was in Lodge or Zgirsh or anything like this. He just keeps going. He just keeps going. Man. This guy was involved in MK Ultra since 96. Yeah. He was a staff member. He had me on many locations. He had me at his employer in Germany uh, where he was sorting some kind of stuff. There was like a some kind of warehouse uh, and he was working at the dock something like this i remember the owner of this company this german was involved in mk ultra maybe i don't know since 95 96 or something like this he did good with the job and i'm happy for him i'm really happy believe me if anybody would be happy Despite everything, I was and I am pleased that you managed to do something with your life. That's really good. That's commanding. That's that's great. Ah, the bus driver demonstrates me his limousine. I tell him I remember when you bought this car um, to be honest with you there are very few cars like this here very very few cars that's a seldom car and I don't frankly look the cars I don't have the money for but that's the kind of car we are talking about here that's a really beautiful car uh, and I said from what I can recall you bought a brand new one and he says yep I sure did uh, but when you purchased one I don't know but wait a minute wait a minute let me think about yeah, yeah you bought one eight years ago he says seven years ago okay so it's not eight it's seven years ago and for this I also was correct the next thing I am gonna do uh, I am gonna go ahead and I am gonna play you the whole audio the recording from beginning to the end uh, so that you can have an idea uh, in Slovenian language uh, if you understand Slovenian language but the key points the key stuff I did uh, translated for you uh, too damn bad I cut the portion of it out about uh, a golf now oh, he's talking about the golf let me hear if he's gonna mention okay there was a car I also have all this stuff on 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 a recording on an audio uh, but there is a Volkswagen Golf car and uh, he asked me about not that one no not that one um, I was I, I, I did not even recognize <coughs> I don't actually recognize myself uh, when compared to MK Ultra on the MK Ultra uh, I only demanded uh, <laughs> German cars <laughs> I <laughs> I never had German car in my life in reality uh, but under MK Ultra I, I only demanded uh, a German car 
I I would not want a French car. Uh, I would not want uh, unless it was a specific cars like. Uh, well, of course I like French cars, but how can I explain this? I like good-looking women, and I like good-looking cars, and that doesn't make me a racist. Uh, there was yesterday I had posted on my new site about the black girl in South Africa. Uh, this is the girl right here I have posted about yesterday, uh, and it's 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 hilarious because the guy, the biggest racist in South Africa, his name is Julius Malema, and Julius Malema claimed that I was a racist. Next to Zuma, these are the people that claimed on a massacre of the white people in South Africa. Uh, and so, these are the people that just were behind much of this stuff because they had Americans, uh, minorities, if you like, people like Mike Tyson, uh, people from sports, going to South Africa, bringing instructions on how to handle the white population, accordingly, exactly according to uh, the way they felt were treated in the United States of America. But from what I heard, when people have even confiscated some of those instructions, you're talking about the Central Intelligence Agency, this was a complete lunacy. They went way beyond, this is not about reverse discrimination or something like this. This is about basically a genocide, exterminating people, basically make this white minority in South Africa vanish, basically, escape, out, kill them, whatever, whichever way. Uh, right, this girl here was inside of this room in Slovenia. She came. I was crazy about her. Oh, this is an incredibly beautiful woman. She is a South African, and I don't know, but she is as black as Mr. Malema. Who is the Julius Malema? Julius Malema. That's a Julius Malema. Uh, thanks to him, uh, I have met her also in South Africa. Because he presented her to me, uh, you know, uh, 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 ladies and this and that. Yeah, 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 sure. He's a family man. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, if you only knew, you're a real man. Um, he would take me to a places, to a locations where there would be a ladies I would be interested in. You know, uh, a ladies that would serve a clientele on the level of Julius Malema. Julius Malema used to be undercover, uh, not even a police officer. This was, this was just a thug. That would go and basically get people killed per Jacob Zuma. They would bug me, bring me to South Africa, uh, and basically let me lose in the street with the white people. And then they would go and they would start de cleansing, basically. That's That's pretty much it. These are the people that openly call on killing of the white people because they are white. You literally have this kind of stuff going on. You, you literally have in, in South Africa, you have this kind of stuff. Now, I know that equality has got to be in place, but uh, really calling openly uh, on a TV um, in front of the masses uh, on killing white people because they're white, I somehow, because of the stuff, especially I have experience in South Africa, um, I, I cannot go along, okay? Uh, and so she is black too, and so it was few ladies, South African black ladies that Eventually, I like that I want it, but I don't know. Maybe they were not black enough, or maybe I am not 
crazy enough. I don't know. I said I like good-looking women and I like good-looking cars. Uh, and so if you like good-looking women and if you like good-looking cars, that doesn't mean that you're racist. No, the truth is, under MK Archer, because of what Mr. Milan Kuchan did, Mr. Borat Pahur did, Lukashenko, uh, Karadzic, Milosevic, the people that were indicted as a mass murderers, butchers of the Balkans, uh, Alexander Vucic, not yet, but Sheshel and so on, uh, I really felt that the German cars are uh, out of the cars for me, whatever, but that really didn't have any kind of... And so we go apart, he's asking me, what about this car? That's a Volkswagen. It's a Volkswagen Golf. Okay, this Volkswagen Golf was there already for 50 years. That's all I want. That's the only point I want to make. That freaking car has been there already for at least, I don't know, 10 years or something like this. Uh, but still, it's a really nice car, and I didn't ask about it. Uh, he was trying to assist me. He was trying to get me more proofs about it. But this is there is no need, because I know the people. I know the lady who bought that Mercedes over there uh, that has this, uh, I don't know, salon, whatever he's doing. Uh, this buffet, whatever uh, shop, uh, all of these people in Taish Marieshka to Plitsa were really involved in this MK Ultra. It's just too people, too many people know me, and it's too many people also I know. But I want to thank this man uh, also for his car and everything for meeting me. I wish I could make it up for his lost son. Uh, nevertheless, he's happy, he's got his little family together. Um, and I want to thank both gentlemen. I'm not angry anymore after I heard myself talking about really what went on here in Slovenia. So I do understand. They were on the ass of this guy. Uh, but you know, it, it kind of hurts me because it kind of hurts me because I didn't even have any life. You know, I didn't have a life of any kind. This was a life, I'm going to tell you, that um, when <laughs> the Germans told me uh, in 97 uh, that I should just, the best would be in this basically after my saving their ass here in Slovenia in 96, for me to jump from that building over there in Miami, uh, you know, it, if I would have had that time, I really would not miss much. Really, there is no, there is no, um, there is really nothing to, to really celebrate in respect to my life, when it comes to my life for the last, really, 28 years now. So... Uh, so much shit, so much crime, so much lies I've experienced, not seen, but experienced, you understand? So much shit I have gone through uh, for somebody, uh, it, you know, it made me feel like I'm the one who wants the fucking autogram from the guy for answering me the question if he was in Poland or not. I mean, because that's a little bit, but okay. All right, thanks to both guys that... You met me. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Till next time. The only thing I'm going to do is so there's going to be some conspiracy theories. I'm going to go over and let you play the whole audio recording so that you can hear basically from A to Z in Slovenian language. Uh, I did cut a little portion of it. That's when we talk privately, that stuff about the latest about the premarital agreements and that kind of stuff. That doesn't concern anybody, but everything else, it's in there. So, there you have it.
Ja, das ist so gut von mir. Ja. Ja, du bist noch mal weg, ne? 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 Ja, das ist ein Fabel, wenn du so sagst. Ja, da war ich nur von der Schule. Das ist ein Fabel, ja. Ja, das ist ein Fabel. Das ist ein Fabel, 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 Baba. Je to něco, když to něco takto kopíru, ne? To bylo velmi dobře, když to matíme, ne? A pokud je to bylo velmi těžké, ne? To nebylo. To bylo to bylo to bylo baba, to bylo baba. Nikdo se to nechce. Já. Já pojďte, nebojte. A pokud je to jo. Všechny dovolili se zda, všechny dovolili se zda. To pravda vůbec, že to bylo nejstarší, 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 a co jsi to dělal? Co? Co jsi to dělal? 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 Он говорил, что ты у тебя признаешь, что Матеев. Это он говорил. 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 Это он Ja, Tuhle jsem nebyl, ale je to tu. A byl jsem tak pět, šest, sedm, osm. Tuhle jsem mohl. Tuhle. Ne, já jsem druhý den. Tuhle jsem tři. Tři měsíce. 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 Tři
Lejka Kuzma Kuzma, to je Fabnan Trunel. Od gušte kilogramu to je sve bolo. Pa bi se tako ne premiran. Pa bi se sve tako si ti za dvije dvejšte kilogramu. Daj se da ti se kruze. Razumem. Daj, daj, daj. Da se kruze. 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 Ok. Dajne delo, nisi to odmeraj. To je jasno. To je razumljivo. Nisi to odmeraj, on to zapisi. Da ne on to prije. Ja, no. Da ne on to prije. On to ali to vaga, je. Vaga ne se to vežno. To ne tamo. Se pravi med dnevnico, televizijo, ne, a zdaj se pravi pa metado. Se vira ovo, ki je aktivni, pa se vira ovo, ki je ti televizijo. Da, če zdaj, zdaj se je aktivni, zdaj dnevnico smo delali. Ja, tako je njega. Pa se kombinirat nekaj, kar se te pa. Kako se kombinirat? Ja. Ja, znam pa njih v televizor gledal, kot je gledal. Reči se, ja, ja, še tudi ne. Reči se delo, ne. Reči se delo treba. Pa se vede. Delo je tu, da mi izgledite krivo. Ti delo, ti moj zabak, ti moj zabak, ti moj zabak. Drugi, ki bi tako še zemlj, ne. Ja, ne se ga ako je. Pa ne, ne se tako ne umne, ki se tudi sem postoši. Ne pa, 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 Thank you. 
Se ne muore, se si ne muore, se si vede, 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 Yeah. 
Koliko je tu za kraj? Ja. 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 Ja, no, sej tu moram zelo še enkrat pogledati. Vi ste rekli, iz hlasnika, ne? Ja, ja. Da vidimo tole. Vi ste o tem, vi ste o tem, ki imajo Aleksandro Rudnik. Litija. Litija. Za drugo. Ja, ja, to je pa tist gori. Skoč pri Ljubljani, bliži. Ne vem, ne vem, zdaj da bom pogledal eno stvar. Od Ljubljane, tako, tako. Ja, pa sej tu je to, ni? Ne, ne, hlasno, pa niče. Hlasno, pa niče je bolj. Da prvo pride za gorje, potem pa pride Sava za gorje, trbolje. Ne, tu ste se pa vizdali z moto. Evo, lejte to foro. Da tole pogledamo. Jaz se pa ne bom zmoj. Je, zdaj se se pa vi malo. Jaz točno vem te. Malo. Evo. Tu je to, tu je to, tu je to, se pravi. Dobro dan, jo ja. Ja, lep kožek. Ok, da vidimo tole. Zagorje ob Savi. Ja, ja, vse to je. Ok. Ja. Vi ste pa? Hrasti. Ja, pa kar bolj imaj ne. Ja, pa se pizda, tu je hrasti, kaj. Vi niste pošteni. Zakaj? Ja, tu je tri kilometra stran, dva kilometra stran, pizda. Odkud? Iz Zagorje ob Savi. A vi iš, da? Ja, kako, kaj slali jutr... 14 kilometra. Mater, ampak vi meni ne, 14 kilometr. No, nije 14 kilometr. Trbolje, Zagorje je 7. Evo, lejte tole. Zagorje ob Savi, hrasni. Ja, pa vi ste pa ne milosrdni. Ne, ne, ne. Ja, kako je? 14 kilometrov je. Ja. Pa prvo je Trbolje. Pa je pa hrasni. Ampak, pošten pa niste, ne? A vi že ne. Ker tu je 3 kilometra, ne? Nega srat, no. Ja. Kako da ne, ne? Nega srat, Zagorje. Zagorje Zdaj tega, kar jaz sem rekel, da se ste bil vse predstajali. Ne, ne, ne. A, bil sem bil, bil sem bil zelo bil, samo da sam jaz sem nekaj nekaj potvoril, ampak. Da vas še eno stran, da vas se prašam. Majster. Ja, se tako majster, ki je to, ker vidim, da sem ta šest mužak. Da kje se vi pa še opali? Ker vi sem šel na Poljsko, ne ne. Ampak sem trenutek, na Polsko pa niste tu, se bil, kdaj je, 96, 97, 98. Ok, ne bo se dobro rašlo, če ake, če ake, a kvorat, kje, v rodžu, v rodžu, v centru, v rodžu, sem ti rod. Sem vas dobo, majče, sem vas dobo, je. Sem vas dobo, še eden, še eden, če je to. A di jo?